Hi there, Tracy from Cazadan's Equestrian. Welcome to my weekly video and this week we're going to start looking at vitamins. I'd really like to provide some information about vitamins, which ones are needed in the diet, which ones the horses produce on their own. And this is a really big topic, so there's going to be a few videos in a row on this. Before I go into the topic, please remember to subscribe to the video and click on that notification bell so that if this is something that you want to learn about, you get notified when I do release the next video. One of my aims in all of these videos is to provide you some simple factual information so you can make your own decisions regarding your horse's health and in this case your horse's diet. So let's start with vitamins. We know that we sometimes need some vitamin supplementation and actually sometimes so does your horse, but it may be a little less than you think. Vitamins are classified into fat soluble and water soluble vitamins. And there are a bit of a difference in these. The fat soluble vitamins are vitamin A, D, E and K. They're the ones that are important to the horse. And the relevant thing about the fat soluble vitamins is that they can be stored in the horse's body. So the fact that these can be stored in the body means that at times when that vitamin is lower in their diet, the horse still has a supply. The downside of this, of course, is that this vitamin can build up in the body. So some of these vitamins can actually um, have, be toxic if they're getting supplemented above and beyond what's necessary and the horse has already got a storage component of this vitamin. The best source of fat soluble vitamins here are in fresh forage and even freshly cut hay. But any of your feeds that are stored over time, the content degrades and sometimes becomes quite minimal. This can become quite important at certain times of the year where fresh forage isn't available or we know the hay has already been stored for a certain amount of time. Of course, we don't want to over supplement with some of these fat soluble vitamins. Um, in particular, vitamin A can become toxic. Vitamin K has some toxicity issues. Vitamin E, however, which is quite important for the horse, seems to be safe at really high doses. So if you need to supplement vitamin E with your horse, you're very unlikely to do damage by continuing that supplementation. The water soluble vitamins include the very important B group vitamins or B complex because there's a number of them. And also vitamin C is a water soluble vitamin. These aren't stored as well, so two things, they need more of a constant supply of these from the diet and two, they are less likely to build up or cause some toxicity. Obviously, these are generalizations at this stage. One of the unique things about the horse is in their large intestine, they house a number of microbes, much like we do in our gut. And I've talked before about how very important that gut micro microflora is to the horse. One of the reasons this is so important is because horses actually manufacture a lot of their own vitamins here. Each species has a different um, population, I guess, of these microflora in their gut. And therefore, each of the species are unique in which vitamins they produce for themselves and which they do not. This means that not all animals that produce their own vitamins produce the same vitamins. And so a recommendation for one species is not going to equal a recommendation for the horse. One of the major vitamins that are produced by the horse themselves is this vitamin B complex. Not all of them, but that's another video. Um, but most of the vitamin B requirements are actually produced by the horse from their own diet. So supplementation of these is often not necessary. Vitamins A and E are not produced by the microbes in the gut. So these do definitely need to come from the diet. But remembering that vitamin A and over um, supplementing vitamin A can cause a toxicity issue. So obviously the vitamin requirements of your horse doesn't change. But sometimes the supply changes. Um, 
over different seasons, different pastures, different feed types, supply the horse different nutrients and therefore can either increase or decrease the need for extra vitamin supplementation. So in reality, a horse at maintenance is very unlikely to require additional sources of vitamins if they're on fresh green forage and pre-mixed feeds. In saying that, there are horses that still do benefit from extra supplementation. If a horse is under stress, like um, traveling or competition stress, maybe um, prolonged strenuous exercise, for example. If your horse has been sick, had surgery, maybe been on a big course of antibiotics, these horses too may benefit from the supplementation. And remembering, especially these metabolic laminitic type horses, if we're soaking the hay in water, then we're losing a lot of those water soluble vitamins. So an extra supplementation of that is sometimes warranted. There are some vitamins that are required in the horse's diet and they don't make themselves and these are vitamin A and E. Vitamin D is obtained by sunlight so unless your horse is 24 by 7 locked in a stable then it's really unlikely that you're going to have to supplement vitamin D. Vitamin E is one of those that's actually quite important and it is one of those that deteriorate a lot and has great benefit to the horse. So this is a vitamin that may well need supplementation as well. If you have a really stressed horse, they can often benefit from um, supplementation of vitamin B and C. Look, this is a really quick overview and what I'd like to do is go through each of these vitamins separately in the next few weeks so that you get a really good understanding of whether your horse could benefit from supplementation from these vitamins or not. Hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, share this video around. The more people that learn about their own horse and able to make their own decisions on keeping their horse healthy, the better our horse's welfare will be. Thanks and I'll speak next week.